Hello everyone, Sigma Later here, and we've got quite a bit of Resident Evil 3 news to go over. So with that being said, let's get on with it. Capcom TV recently hosted a live stream on YouTube in which they gave away a fair amount of details about the upcoming Resident Evil 3 and what we can expect in the coming months before its release. So I'm here on biohazardcast.com. Uh, a, p a page I highly recommend you follow. I also recommend you follow them on Twitter. Links to everything will be in the description down below. So first of all, we've got this lovely picture of Nemesis. Now at first I thought somebody had set some fire to stop him from following, but a lot of people say that this could actually be a flamethrower. So it sounds like Maybe the Nemesis is getting an expansion to his arsenal, not just a rocket launcher or a minigun. I think I think he had the minigun in it was either Umbrella Chronicles or Operation Ra Operation Raccoon City. I have to double check that one. he has it in the live action movie as well but anyway Capcom TV year end special program brings RE3 updates this is by Jess Fullington from Biohazard cast this morning Capcom aired its end of the year edition of Capcom TV to give last minute information for their upcoming games including Resident Evil 3 note huge shout out to CVX Freak for the English translation on the stream no, uh, I also recommend you give him a follow loads of Resident Evil updates come from him as well on Twitter and again I'll leave a link to that in the description but you can also follow him here at CVX Freak. Masachika Kawata the producer of Resident Evil 3 Remake made an appearance promising a new trailer soon after the new year. He said that this trailer will be giving more focus on Carlos as well as everyone's favourite pursuer Nemesis. That's very exciting, so we're getting another trailer soon. Uh, of Where's Barry on Twitter has been speculating maybe Pack South, which starts January 17th. I don't know if we will get one that early, but I'll be watching that like a hawk just in case, and I'm sure many of these guys here will as well. Kawata also made a point to reassure those who might be worried that Nemesis will be too much like the now iconic Mr. X. According to him, Nemesis will be easily be more terrifying. I don't doubt that for a second. I mean, Mr. X in the remake was basically this, exactly the same as he was in the original Resident Evil 2. He pursued you around the RPD, he walked after you and punched you in the face until you died. That not much really changed for Mr. X in the remake other than the fact that he was a constant presence. Nemesis, on the other hand, is a far more insidious and intelligent character. You know, he stalks, uh, he plays mind games with you, he like he psychs you out. Like sometimes in the original Resident Evil 3, you would hear the uh, the, the tension building music, but he might he may or may not even appear and you may hear him go stars occasionally but again he may or may not appear it kept you on edge brilliantly in Resident Evil 3 and I'm hoping we see more of that in the remake and speaking of Where's Barry here he is Where's Barry at Where's Barry B a popular Resident Evil YouTuber channel also gave mention that Hunter Betas would be returning from Resident Evil 3 now, for those of you who don't know, the betas were the, uh, were the hunters with all the red red lumps on them in Resident Evil 3. And as we can see in this picture here, we can see those red spots in this image, which is awesome. I mean, don't get me wrong, the hunter betas, massive pain in the ass, especially if there's two of them and you back yourself into a corner. It, they're nightmarish. It's best to shoot first while they're at a distance and just keep those buggers away. Uh, apparently the hunter gammas, the ones that look like frogs, have been cut 
I don't know how official that is. It's just something I saw around on Twitter. I'm kind of disappointed, but also kind of really happy. Because the Gammas are even more annoying than the Betas. But as Barry says here, also confirmed today by the Resident Evil 3 remake producer, was that Hunter Betas will be back. Look at the red spots on this Hunter. As we've already gone over, we've got one up here and another one along there. Counter also showed viewers the new issue of Famitsu Magazine, planned to ship four Japanese retailers on the 19th and states that 3 will have a nice article within. An interesting point Carota brought up was that the team has a lot more creative license for this project in comparison to 2. This means they'll be able to make changes to the story that everyone's familiar with. Ok so they're really changing things up in the Resident Evil 3 remake. It's not going to be as predictable as the Resident Evil 2 remake was. I mean they changed a fair amount in 2 but left enough in to keep it similar, like in terms of the story, it all, most of it planned out the same way, like Birkin gets shot, releases the G-Virus. It sounds like 3 Remake is really going to change things up and swipe us off our feet. I hope that means that the story is going to be expanded. I always felt the original was too short, so I'm hoping they've expanded on that, and especially the streets and some of the locations, I would love to see more. And I hope, uh, if they haven't given Carlos his own campaign, then I hope we get to play as him for longer than just the hospital. And, but as we saw in the trailer, we see him and Tyrell going towards the RPD, so it does sound like that might be the case. Purists shouldn't worry too much though. An example of one of the changes was that Dario, who Jill meets earlier on, will have greater prominence than in the original. This likely means that the changes they'll be making are more about deepening parts of the game rather than completely changing them. It's worth noting that no new videos or steals were shown during the presentation. Counter talked a bit about resistance as well as showed off the gorgeous Jill statue as is included in the collector's edition. The cat on Twitter did say that there's no confirmation on a European collector's edition yet. Now I'm holding on to that yet because in my mind that means there is going to be one, we just have to be a bit more patient and wait for it to be announced. So those of you who are hoping to get a hold of the collector edition in the UK and in Europe, start saving now, because as soon as that does go live, it's going to go quickly. And I imagine it will be Game that has it. They had the exclusives to it last time. I imagine it will be the same deal here again. However, he did also confirm a rumour we previously reported on. Turns out, Resident Evil 3 started its life at the exact same time as Resident Evil 2, just as many suspected. Yeah, I think we all know that now because there is no way they could release Resident Evil 3 in April if they began production way later. They had to be making both of these games at the same time. So yeah, give uh, Alex and Anil Anil, I'm so sorry if I've butchered that name. But yeah, go and give him a follow at CVX Freak and you can watch him translate the show as it's going live. It's a great watch. Go and check it out. Okay, that's all we really have now for the Resident Evil 3 remake. But I also want to talk about something else. Capcom recently renewed their trademarks for Dino Crisis and a whole bunch of other IPs that they had. When I heard this news I couldn't help but get excited for a possible Dino Crisis remake and I'm still holding out hope for it but as some people have pointed out this could very well be just to keep the IPs from losing their trademark. So while this is exciting don't get too excited until something official comes out but saying that the Resident Evil Ambassador program will be inviting members to come and test a new unannounced title. I don't know if it's Resident Evil related or could be related to any of the other IPs but because it's the RE Ambassador program it's highly likely to be Resident Evil related. So a very exciting time to be a survival horror fan and even a Capcom fan. If you love Capcom it's a great time to be a fan. Exciting times ahead 
I will try, try my best to keep you updated on any more information. But for now, I'm going to end this episode here. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this, guys. If you liked it, like, subscribe, ding that bell, and I will catch you next time. Take care now.